Cristiano, it's easy to score a hat trick against Bolton, but what about the big games? Sir Alex Ferguson is just one of the legends who have slammed CR7. Diego Maradona told the Portuguese to stop around. What do you think about that, Chris? Cada um tem a sua opinião, cada um é, é livre de pensar aquilo que quiser. Whoops! Maybe we touched a nerve there. Anyway, here are seven, get it, legends who have completely destroyed Cristiano Ronaldo. Sir Alex Ferguson. Really? Sir Alex? You? Ferguson has always been a big Cristiano Ronaldo fan, while the Portuguese star considers him his mentor. But the Scottish legend once had to put a stop to the striker during their days together at Man United. Patrice Evra, former CR7 teammate, revealed a particular episode in which Sir Alex slated Ronaldo. In front of his teammates! I remember one time early on, Ferguson destroyed him. I think we played Chelsea and he didn't have a good performance. Ferguson told him, it's easy to score a hat trick against Bolton or Blackburn, but what about the big games? Wow, we didn't see that one coming. Picture that, a young CR7 just starting to show his ability in the Premier League, then trashed by his own manager. But Fergie had an eye for these things, and his comments certainly came at the right moment because Cristiano scored 42 goals that season. And needless to say, from that moment on, both of them had nothing but respect and admiration for each other. Diego Maradona If Diego Maradona is involved, you know controversy is on the menu. The Argentine had almost always publicly praised Cristiano. But notice we said almost because there was one occasion when Diego completely lost it with CR7. The Portuguese forward had stated that he was the real goat. And Maradona took that personally. Tell him to stop kidding around, replied the Argentine icon. If Cristiano is the best of all time, what are you? A probe which prompted this fiery response from Diego. That's why I asked you to tell him to stop around. Maradona's comments were surprising considering he had always said that CR7 had what it took to become the greatest. But we all know where Diego stood regarding the GOAT discussion. And even though he'd express his admiration for the Real Madrid forward, his outburst would not be forgotten. Oh, Chris. Things have not started well for you in this video, and just wait until you see what's next. Zlatan Ibrahimovic We couldn't leave out the king of trash talk. Zlatan Ibrahimovic picked on Cristiano Ronaldo when the Portuguese star joined Juventus. GQ Italy asked the Swedish behemoth whether we would see the real Ronaldo in Turin, and his answer was exactly what you'd expect from Zlatan. None of it. There's one Ronaldo, the Brazilian. Come on, Ibra, have some mercy! The striker went even further and belittled the challenge facing the Portuguese skipper. He signed for a team that won Serie A seven times in a row. Going to a club like that is not a challenge. If he really wanted a challenge, he should have gone to Juve when they were in Serie B. We get it, Zlatan. You're not a CR7 fan. In fact, Ibra has always praised Leo Messi, stating that the Argentine is the best player of at least his generation, which obviously leaves the Portuguese star a level below the diminutive PSG genius. Was Ibrahimovic too harsh towards Cristiano? Probably. But there are few footballers who speak their minds with such disregard for the consequences. Eric Ten Hag Yep, you thought we forgot about Cristiano's most recent scandal? Eric Ten Hag and Ronaldo's turbulent relationship hit the headlines since day one, when the coach publicly criticized him for joining preseason preparations late. In the start, it was definitely was the case, and um, uh, it's proven once again no one can miss a preseason and because you're running after facts. The Dutchman's remarks were followed by an abject start of the season for CR7, who was often dropped to the bench. Visibly angry with the situation, Ten Hag compounded his misery by criticizing him again after the Manchester Derby. First of all, if I talk about his feelings, you have to ask him, and not me. But of course, he wants to play, and he's pissed off when he's not playing. Yeah, clear. Cristiano had never had such issues with a coach, and the situation soon reached a point of no return. The Portuguese publicly criticized both Ten Hag and Man United, and his contract was terminated abruptly. Did anything else happen in the dressing room? Did they have a fight? That is between Cristiano and me. Okay, Eric, let's leave it there. Ángel Di Maria Another Argentine. Looks like Messi leaves the dirty work to his countrymen. Although, to be fair to Ángel Di Maria, he didn't trash CR7 like Maradona did. The Juventus player unwittingly revealed one of Ronaldo's best-kept secrets. You see, the former Real Madrid man has always stated that he doesn't drink alcohol. In fact, he admitted that after winning the 2016 Euro with his national team, he drank a glass of champagne and felt dizzy. I never drink, but that day was so special. So, which Ronaldo secret did Di Maria reveal? 
The Argentine was asked about his days alongside Cristiano at Real Madrid, and he asserted that he did indeed drink alcohol. On my first birthday at Real Madrid, I had some friends come. I invited Cristiano too. He dropped by my house and sat outside with my friends drinking beer. Di Maria's anecdote contradicted Ronaldo's eternal crusade against alcohol. What are we going to find out next? That he drinks Coca-Cola for breakfast? Wayne Rooney he who was once Cristiano's ideal attacking partner soon became one of his staunchest critics. Wayne Rooney, the man who lined up alongside the Portuguese star during those glorious days at Old Trafford, took Eric Ten Hag's side when the relationship between the manager and CR7 reached its lowest point. For Cristiano, just get your head down and work and be ready to play when the manager needs you. If he does that, he will be an asset. If he doesn't, he will become an unwanted distraction. Cristiano has been called a lot of things throughout the year, but an unwanted distraction? Rooney's words clearly hurt Ronaldo. But the worst part is that Wayne's comments came just days before Cristiano's bombshell interview, and the Portuguese didn't miss the opportunity to hit back at his former teammate. I don't know why he criticizes me so badly, probably because he finished his career and I'm still playing at a high level. I'm not going to say that I'm better looking than him, which is true. Grow up, you guys! Before we reveal the last legends that destroyed Cristiano, here are some other icons that weren't particularly friendly towards the Portuguese icon. Like Sergio Aguero, who told youngster Alejandro Gajanacho that he considers Cristiano his idol because he hasn't played with Messi yet. Or Gary Neville, Ronaldo's former teammate who claimed that CR7 went to Saudi Arabia purely for the money. And how about German legend Lothar Mateus? The former midfielder stated that Cristiano was a massive failure during the last World Cup. Oh boy. Let's wrap this up before a Ronaldo fan destroys their cell phone. Antonio Cassano Last but not least, the former Italian forward Antonio Cassano. So far, we've seen some legends trash Ronaldo regarding his ego, his abilities, or even his behavior. But Cassano went too far. He said that the Portuguese should stop playing football altogether. I have enormous respect for Cristiano, but as a footballer, I don't like him. He has won everything. He has been a phenomenon. He's won a lot of money, and now he's not a starter for Manchester United. Retire. It's over. Well, if that's how you talk about someone you respect, we don't want to see what you would say to all those you disrespect. Or maybe he used that term because a year before, Cristiano sent him a message asking to be more respectful. He told me that he has scored 800 goals and I have only 150. I told him, Dear Cristiano, you have everything. Live calm and relaxed. Look at Messi. He doesn't give a damn and he doesn't send me messages. What's your problem, Cristiano? Man, Antonio really got under Cristiano's skin. Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the most admired and respected footballers in the world, but several legends have dared to destroy him. Who was the harshest critic of CR7? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, why not try this one? Thanks for watching.